Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and & Hearst and today we're going to work on, actually people have been asking off and on about more corsage work. So we're going to do corsage 101 old school, meaning we're going to hand wire everything and believe it or not, to me it's just as fast as gluing a lot of times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the proper way or some, not the proper, some suggested ways to wire flowers. So let's say you're working with a ranuncula. Well, the stem's too small to pin wire through it. So what you'd want to do, oh man, I got one that's oh, not real, it's only got half of the ranuncula. How do oh, I do? Oh no, how are we doing? <laughs> we're doing, we're, we're well, doing the best. Moving days. We're, we're doing the best we can today. How's that's that? Right. So what you want to do is I call it a pin wire, like a hairpin, right? Do you put that in your hair? When it was long and kind of funky, you could have used it. I could have pulled that big dip you do yeah, wave exactly. over. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, we're just going to pin wire right through there. And you pull it down. Okay, let's let them see up close. Okay, now the middle. Can we see the middle? Or can you see it? Uh, no, you're not supposed to see the middle. Okay, we don't need to see the middle. <laughs> well, you can see it. Well, no, you can't see it. Okay, we won't see it. Maybe I can see it on this one. Tell you what, I'll push the wire back through. Like that. Oh, look, perfect. And then you pull it back down until you catch it. So I'm gonna do one more. One more. And we use a 16 gauge wire. I don't think this is, no, wrong direction. This is like a 22. Everyone in the floor is 16. That's like a penny now. No, it's, four, it's 22 gauge wire. Let's go right through the center. You do daisies this way, like you're making a daisy corsage, same concept with daisies. Okay, so there's that. So another way to wire it, like this cymbidium, is that I kind of go across this way and I go into the throat. See, I'm coming through right there into the throat. And I'll pull that through. We have lots of people saying happy Friday. Happy Friday. Lots of people are saying it's storming where they are. It is. Miss Susan said it's stormy in Greer's Ferry. It's getting ready to come a good one here, looks like. We're are you all moved in yet? No. Mm. The, the movers are at the house. I ran out the door. Couch tear. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so I walked out the door and I said, I'll be back in 20 minutes. So, anyway. Oh, but, he's telling but, us we only have like 10 minutes because it'll take you five and five. But Ma, but Mama's there and she's the cruise director anyway, so. So you're good. So we're good. So then, once again, when you're wiring or taping, let me show you how to do that again. So when you start that, you're going to pinch it around like this. And the, the, the thing about this tape, guys, it's adhesive. So look how it stretches. The stretchy part is what makes it stick together. You don't want to just wrap it like... Remember the first time you wrapped it, you just thought you just needed to wrap uh -huh. it around it. Exactly, yeah, it I did. Of course it. I did. It doesn't have stick I didn't, in one. I didn't have corsage making 101. Yeah, but you thought it was like a regular. When I say tape, you always think tape's yes, going to be sticky on one side right. and you just wrap it's it on not. tape. That's not the case. Corsage tape, you have to pull it to make it adhesive. And it also makes it seamless. Let me seamless. try to be above so they can so, watch that. Okay, so it oh. makes it seamless. There, can y'all see so that? So you're going to wrap it first, then you're going to pull it. Then you're going to pinch it with your finger like this. Then you're going to spin it. And as you spin it around, you're pulling the tape like this, guys. So then as you pull it, I want to keep that. See, I'm just spinning that around, around that. I'm not wrapping it. I'm spinning it. So that made it. Spinning. A, see how clean that is? Perfect. So there's that. So we have lots of people on from all over today. Oh, awesome. Can you get cat... Catalea orchids. Catalea orchids. We get them from time to time. You know, they used to be plentiful. They actually used to grow here in Little Rock at Fox Orchids, and they would ship them all over the world. But that's been closed for probably 20 years now. But Cataleas used to be the, they used to be what you'd get for either Easter or Mother's Day. It was a big old Catalea orchid. But times have changed, and people don't have them as much. Miss Jeannie said she's still working in the dirt before it rains because well, that's what makes her happy well good so let's talk about wiring a rose okay. so what you're going to do is you're going to take that wire and you're going to insert it right into there just like that okay this is a blood blister by the way not a brute not a piece of dirt 
So there's that. One more of those, and I want to do some red ones now, and then we're going to start putting them together. So when you cut these off, you want to leave just a tad bit of the stem. Now, if we were gluing, we probably wouldn't want the stem to be any longer than that. But we'll glue some. We'll glue another day. Right. That's right. And if y'all have any questions, y'all let us know. Oh, you know what? Miss Marianne had a great point. She said, sympathies for all of our fellow happy family members in the UK of the passing of oh, Prince Philip. Oh, sure. I was going to mention that. So yeah. sad. But wow, what a great life he's had, though. Mm -hmm. You know, what a blessing. Yeah, I was thinking about that this morning. Yep. This is the part that they let me do during Corsage season. That's <laughs> the wire. I get wire. to do this part. I get to uh, cut it off the stem and put the wire in. Put the wire in. She actually can do more. We just, she acts like she can't, and then she can actually. Miss Nancy just said she appreciates the shout out from Wednesday's Happy. Um, she was working with her flat. She's working with her flowers today. Oh, in good. Task Trash Wood. And we're so sad that we missed her when yeah, she came in. Exactly. On Monday, was that it? Or was it Wednesday? I don't remember. It all goes together. I don't think it was Wednesday because I had it on my desk on Wednesday. So maybe it was Tuesday. So why are you breaking them off to make them small for the cursage? You know yeah, you don't want a big stem because the bu the bigger the stem, the, the bulkier the base is going to be. A, it makes the cursage heavier and it makes it where you really can't manipulate the bud and i'll show you why here in a second miss bonnie said that she rarely ever wires anymore if it can't be glued she's not doing it well everybody has their own way right and That's we right. actually do a little bit of both like we'll do the base with wire and tape because that's what miss amanda loves to do and then we'll go back and glue some of the accessories in the reason why i like to still tape a i'm pretty fast at it and B, I don't have the patience for the glue sometimes. And C, I like it because you get a little bit more dimension by being able to manipulate the flower. Sometimes gluing the bees tends to be a little bit more flat. Okay, so we have some questions. Okay. Are you putting the wire into the center of the stem or into the bud? To the center of the base of the, it goes through this part right here. Okay, right there. Yeah, it's not in the flower itself. It, that won't hold it. It's got to, you got to get into the, oh, I forget the name of that part of the flower. I just failed botanical, botanical 101. So do they make clear, fresh floral glue or is it yes. still the amber color? No, they make a no clear. What one. brand is Oasis it that you get? It. Oasis. Oasis. Miss Smith, Oasis. Miss Ann Dunlap said her first corsage was a beautiful orchid. And she said, good luck on moving and hopefully no more blood blisters. <laughs> we're, we're doing okay. There's a lot at the end of the tunnel. Mr. It, David said corsage work has, was how he started back in high school working for a local florist. Mm -hmm. And he said, happy from Virginia Beach. Good. Well, this one is that one that was bad and it's spinning right out. Yeah. Okay, somebody's asking, how'd you one. get a blood bl blister? Pinched it on some on a screen as I was closing something. I was going to say, it's been a little while, too. Yeah. Do you ever put wet cotton behind them? Behind the orchid? You know, they say that, like on a phalaenopsis or a catalea, especially the phalaenopsis, you can take a little bit of, this is really old school, take a little bit of cotton and you wet it. And then you catch it in this part and you slide that through the throat of the orchid like a, a, a phalaenopsis has the same mechanics of this but it's much more easy to manipulate through and you take the cotton on the bulb there then you slide that down through this when you do it and it'll catch in that throat which is more secure good to know i tried to find a phalaenopsis we didn't have any upstairs i didn't want to pull one off a plant so Miss Daphne said one of her favorite memories of her dad was every Easter they would go get orchid corsages and every single special occasion they got an orchid corsage. Yep. Listen, Easter used to be the Easter and Mother's Day used to be the biggest, I mean by far, before proms really took off. So how will these get water until the event? They won't. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna condition them 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to start to build our traditional corsage. And what you're going to, what we tend to do is actually do it in sequence of bud size. So the smallest bud always goes to the edge, then the smaller bud to the middle, and then you want your larger bud to be the focal point. And then I'll work my way back down just like that. Ta -da. Okay. So let me go ahead and wire it real quick. So as I wire it, some people like to actually wire or green each of the buds together. Like I tend to make mine where it, the greenery is in the ba is in the base of it. But some designers like to put a little bit of greenery on each one of the buds. To me, I'm too lazy. So I'll tend to make it this way. Um, so we have someone asked, did they miss the uh, um, Comet sold last night? No, it's not last night. It's going to be Monday. Oh, someone said maybe Cre oh, miss oh, maybe I misunderstood y'all. Miss Christine said she thinks that they mean adding a water source at the bottom of the stem with the wet cotton. Mm -mm. It, to me, it would be not they could. It, everything's possible. But to me, it would be too bulky. I mean, so what I tend to do like on this green ring is I'll take this now and I'll weave this through just like that. I'll take another piece just like this. And I'll weave that through. There. And then last but not least, we'll take a small piece on the very bottom end. Have you ever glued flowers on a band-aid so that girls can attach it to their skin, like on yep. their ankle or shoulder? Didn't we do that on that? We talked about doing that on that one wedding we did. Remember? After we finished that wedding dress, we talked about we could have done Yes, that's, yeah. we did talk about that. but yeah. mm -hmm. I've seen it done, especially at, at um, design programs and stuff. Like they'll take the little round dot. Clear right. band aids. I, I hadn't thought about that, and, but that's very. And you're true. gonna click. You got the the key to that is you got to get that bud like super super tight. Miss Ann asked, stem. "Why are they so small now? When her kids went to prom, they were always so big." Well, they're still big, but everybody has a different way of. Well, doing usually, it. are you putting ribbon in these two? Yeah, yeah we're decent. these are steps, so these they're not steps. done yet. They're not finished. So, yet. what's the greenery that you're using? This is Italian Ruscus. But we tend to make ours a little bit more small. <laughs> we can do large ones, but in general, we don't make them cover the whole arm up. I'm pretty sure every single corsage that I had in Holly Ball or Cotillion and proms and formals, all but one came from Tipton and Hurst. Well, good. I'm pretty sure. And one of them didn't because the the date or whatever used somebody else I think because it like had too much glitter on it and I knew that's not <laughs> y'all's deal well we do glitter I mean we do all that we have feathers and glitters well and actually I was going to show you how to put rhinestones in too. It, it wasn't Tipton and Hearst look and I didn't even I mean I just shopped at Tipton and Hearst back then do you put baby's breath in these we do if the customer asks for it definitely um, we do a lot of especially for prom Where'd my rhinestones go? Where did they go? Way over there. Oh, way over here. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and add rhinestones. Now, you're talking about corsages being bigger and all that. We actually do a corsage bar upstairs. This year, a lot of the public school, our public schools are not having a, a prom. Is that right? Correct. Now they canceled all Some that. are. Some, Some public are. schools are. Some are, but Little Rock is not. But they're Added. having one big shindig. Yeah. So. It's not hosted by the schools. Right. It's just the kids getting together to do it, right? Right. So then we go back, but we do a lot of rhinestone work in ours to make them a little bit bigger. And you would want to wire, I forgot to do that. You would want to tape that as you, same way you do your greenery, you want to tape that through. Now this is where you definitely could glue in if you wanted to. So do you ever get many requests for floral rings instead of rest corsages? Oh, like a, uh, like a small 
like a actual ring around your wrist? Oh, I don't know. No, not too many. You know, a lot of our things, believe it or not, and, and especially like in Dallas and other places, they do, oops, they do a lot of nosegays. They don't do wristlets anymore. Everything is on a nosegay. It's just a smaller version or like a bridal bouquet, basically. Oh, yeah, nosegays is what I had for cotillion. Yeah, but I'm talking about prom now. They're starting to do that. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Well, my little cousin has senior prom. Yeah, our friends at Dr. Delphinium do a ton of that. So That's, you do little, hmm. I feel like you would ditch that so fast, though. They're not little. They're <laughs> like that big. They're like, mm. yeah. I just feel deal. like you would ditch that because then you have to keep up with it. Well, it is like Cotillion. About the third dance, that thing's black and blue because it's just been slung around. And I, the, <laughs> the last year that Sydney was in Cotillion, I thought we'd do something different. So I actually made her a kissing ball, which that was... No one did that back then, of course. Well, of course you did. Yeah, and all us, as the parents get to go to that. And so I look up, and she has that out there swinging the ball, and I'm like, oh, bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea, idea dad. Kid. Bad, da bad idea, dad. Yeah, so. So Miss Woodard said, be sure and mention that the stems need to be the width of the florist tape mm -hmm. and to keep the head sturdy. She said she loved yeah. handwork when yeah. she made them. Yeah. Oh, Miss Jeannie said, oopsie, you dropped a rhinestone thing. Yeah, it popped out. Oh, it popped out. Well, this one lost one. Miss Christie said that their area schools are not sponsoring um, the prompts either, so the parents are putting it on together. I think that's what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Do you still do tizzy dizzies? Tizzy dizzies? What is that? I don't know. Let us know what that is, because I'm not sure what that means. Miss Lisa said she loves Dr. Delphinium, one of her favorite fabulous. That's yeah. where she first fell in love with fabulous flowers. Yeah, they do awesome job. Miss Leanne said in 1980 they carried nosegays. Really? How fun. Oh, Miss Nancy said back in the 90s we carried big nosegays. Really? Oh, again, prom back in 1970 was big nosegays. Y'all were ahead of the game. So yeah, what is a kissing funny. ball? Huh? A kissing ball is like a, it, you know. Do you know what it is? I know what it is, but it's a, it's a full ball, totally covered in flowers. And then we have a ribbon that hangs from, and you hold it with your we finger. We do it for flower girls We sometimes. do it for kissing balls for flower girls a lot. Well, it was really popular. We haven't done as many lately, but for a while there, every child had to have a kissing ball. A few um, weddings pre-COVID, they had those. Yeah. They were so sweet. Yeah. With baby's breath, they were really pretty. Baby's breath roses. or, yeah, we do... Even even carnations are gorgeous on that. Mm -hmm. So let's you talk a about hot? huh? Are you a little hot? I'm burning up. Okay. And so let's talk about making bows for this. So a lot of times we go back and tie it with ribbon, but honestly, guys, I find that if you tie your bow off with wire, it holds so much better in corsage work. So there's that. A couple loops, and you want to make your bow a little bit longer than normal. So that the ribbon comes from the outside of the corsage. Another Miss Lisi, Lisa, Lisi. She said out here in California, she's a parent of someone that should be going to prom, and they're just hosting it themselves. Cool. Okay, a few people are saying tussy mussy. That someone meant tussy, tussy mussy. Yeah, tussy mussies. We do do tussy mussies, especially for moms now to carry at weddings. And we know where the history of that comes from, right? the corsage and the tussie messy along we're done to give you a pretty smell when you walked out on the streets in the 17 and 1800s because you used to put trash out everywhere and you would use your nose gay get it nose gay make your nose gay when you smell it i get it mm -hmm. Miss Daphne said years ago when she was a forest, all three of the local high schools had prom on the same night. Oh. She said she thought her hand was going to fall off. And normally, and, and before, in the past, it's also been, so in the past, it's also been uh, when you have a um, Mother's Day, too. So let's talk about putting a wristlet on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, now this is really old school, Christina. So I'm actually going to ribbon wrap the base. 
and Miss Peggy and Miss Barbara were my mentors on this and they taught me how to ribbon wrap. So you ribbon wrap that stem. Let me show you how to start it. So what you do with this, Christine, you can do this. You, I, oh, you, are you teaching you me because this will yes. be my job? This is okay. a two, pl two ploy gig here. So what you do is you take that ribbon and you're, oops, you're going to bend it over like that, over the top. Then you start to spin it around like that. And then you work it all the way down the edge like this. Ta-da! Then you're going to take it, you're going to catch it, and just going to pull it back through the loop and it really tight like that. That's what you see a lot of when you're seeing like you want ribbon wrap boutonnieres. That's what that is, Christina. Good to know. I good, can do that. Good. Yep. Yeah, good to know. So now we're going to go back and add this to a wristlet. Miss Carolyn said she used to curl her stems with a big pin. That's what Miss Amanda does. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take this, and a lot of people like to glue these on too. A little da dash of glue, but for today we're just going to clip it on here. And we carry a ton of different kinds of wristlets. I wish I could have shown. We need to show all those one day. Yeah, we, you know, we have tons. all kinds from Fitz Designs. So there's that, right? And you're going to curl your stem like this. Then you're going to take your bow at the end. And I'm going to put it right in the middle here, right? Just like that. And I'm going to work into here. You're doing so step by step. We might not have as many prom orders. So a lot of people, they can make them themselves now. I'm feeling pretty confident. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I don't have to do that many anymore. I was going to say, Miss Amanda. Miss Amanda is our, our corsage queen. She handles all that. Right? So by wiring that on there, that just helps secure that a little bit better. And then I'm going to use my ribbon scissors, which is a big no-no. I'm going to wrap that back underneath there. So that corsage is not going anywhere, right? So we, we get a lot of black and red. Or whatever the color. You know, it, it's amazing in prom how color i mean plays a huge part with the dresses everyone likes to wear the same, pretty much the same color a lot of time so there's one another option would be to do it like this where you take it underneath the corsage right oh let me go and ribbon wrap that real quick and to me the ribbon wrap kind of what sets you apart from everybody else guess what what Miss Debbie just called you out. What? She said, wait, Chris is in a tipped in her shirt. Because Are they all water stained under his left arm still? No. Chris is in the process of moving his house to a rent house because we're redoing his whole or re They don't they haven't seen us on a Saturday in a while. If they saw us on Saturday, they would know that you always yeah, wear black on a I'm big day. Hugely superstitious. Like I wear black on wedding days. But anyway. I literally, literally so ran from the house, which is just a few blocks down from the store now, and ran in, and I got to run back because I've got the movers there, and they're unloading all our furniture. And it's probably going to be raining when they leave. Yeah, here in a minute. So I need to help Mama out and help point and direct and att we put in the cable and we had to get new cable put in so there's that one in the ant people huh and the ant people and the termite people yeah we found out we had ants in the rental house and we called them even though miss debbie said that she had to give chris a tease <laughs> bring it on i love it miss lisa said people underestimate the time and product that it takes to make a corsage. Mm -hmm. And you know, corsages in a lot of areas have got really expensive. Well, you know, people with weddings, you know, our corsage pricing, yeah. they'll say, oh, well, is there any way we can make that smaller, a little less? And it's like, oh, uh, corsages is kind of that one area that 
There's so much it's, labor. It's involved. so much labor. But you know, can. gluing does help a lot. It's just we tend to still do this. I just feel like the handwork looks a little bit more finished sometimes. But especially, someone said, "Don't you think it, the product is better when it's wired?" I do. I mean, I hate to say that for the people that love gluing, but you know, it's just the way I was taught. That probably doesn't look too good on there, but that's what they handed me when I came down the stairs. Anyway, and so to me, I just feel more comfortable with gluing, I mean with taping than gluing, and I can do it pretty much a lot of times as fast as, especially if you prep it all at one time, like I'll, just like we do when we have like 50 white corsages with buds, we'll, you know, get 100 or 200 blooms ready and just sit there and just wire them and tape them all at once. Then we just go ahead and put them together. Now, I know a lot of people, especially um, in the design world, are really fast at gluing now. It's just, it's always where it's going to fall off. Yeah, yeah, me too. But, I don't want to say that because so many people, I mean, most people it doesn't. But there's nothing worse if someone's gluing and they don't know what they're doing. And sometimes I don't know what I'm doing because it can get kind of clunky and not quite as uh, airy. Right. So someone's asking if people do glue it, how do they glue it? Like, what do they do? Well, a lot of times what you'll do is you'll have your base made. Like, you'll start out with a base of greenery or they'll do their greenery and then they'll put the bow and they just glue the blooms into the bow. Oh, okay. You're using your bow as your mechanical part to hold the glue. You know, there's you know, there's some people like Joyce Maha who does beautiful, beautiful, amazing work gluing, and like she'll do these boutonnieres and corsages that are really like jewelry. There are not that many flowers; it's more like little buds, or but I mean, it really is like jewelry. I mean, it's on a magnet, and it's not a corsage like this traditional corsage. It truly really is a piece of jewelry. I don't know that prom children appreciate that as much. They want, yeah, so, but anyway. But we can add feathers, we can add rhinestones, we can add more ribbon. One year I had feathers in mine because my dress had feathers on it. Really? You? Think, okay, I you was in charge of prom. You picked that out. Okay, listen, I planned prom and it was a masquerade themed and my dress oh, was purple okay. and it had feathers on it. And so my date's mom got it with feathers in it. Oh, okay. It was cute. A little bit out of your box, but that's It was all out right. of my box, A little but bit out of your box. Okay. I'm with I, you. I planned the party, and it had feathers, so okay. we well, had feathers. I'm sure you said I'm in my mother. Everyone had to wear them. So, anyway. So, that's what we got today, because i got to get back and unpack some groceries out of the cabinets. So, any, into, the, into the cabinets. But, anyway, we will see you all on Monday. Hopefully, we're supposed to get a bad storm here, so hopefully we'll survive that and have a great weekend. And we will see you again on Monday. But and what else is on Monday? They get you two times on Monday. Oh, that's right. We have comments sold that night, and then we'll have our normal happy as well to remind you about the comments sold. And we're getting so you together. get a double Haley, dose. we're getting together some cute stuff, aren't we? We are. We are. It's going to be real cute, real yeah, fun. Real fun. For real different. For mothers. Okay. All right. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.